Have you ever wondered how life was in the medieval times of India, a period rich with stories of kings, queens and battles? This era, spanning 10 centuries from the 8th to the 18th, is a treasure trove of fascinating tales, and today we're going to delve into its depths. The medieval period of India is marked by the rise and fall of several kingdoms and empires, each leaving behind a unique legacy. This era began with the decline of the Gupta Empire in the 8th century, paving the way for regional powers to take the center stage. The northern parts of India saw the dominance of the Rajputs, remembered for their chivalry and valor. Further south, the Cholas, Cheras and Pandyas held sway, their reigns marked by advancements in art, architecture and literature. Moving forward, the 12th century introduced a pivotal shift in India's political landscape with the onset of Muslim rule. The Delhi Sultanate, followed by the mighty Mughal Empire, left indelible imprints on the fabric of Indian society. Yet the medieval period was not just about kings and battles. It was a time of societal evolution and cultural synthesis. The caste system, a distinctive feature of Indian society, was distinctly prevalent during these times. Different communities had their own roles and responsibilities, creating a complex societal structure. The Brahmins were the scholars, the Kshatriyas were the warriors, the Vaishyas were the traders, and the Shudras were the servants. Each caste had its own set of rules and duties, which were strictly adhered to. While society was strictly stratified, the medieval period also witnessed a surge in cultural and intellectual pursuits. Literature flourished and regional languages began to gain prominence. Religion too played a significant role, with Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism and Islam shaping the beliefs and practices of the people. So, buckle up as we embark on this fascinating journey through the medieval times of India, filled with intriguing tales of power, passion and perseverance. The mysteries of this era are waiting to be unraveled, and who knows, you might just discover a slice of history that resonates with you. Imagine the era where powerful kingdoms ruled the vast Indian landscape. Let's embark on a journey through time, where the echoes of royal commands and the clanging of swords reverberate through the air. We arrive in the medieval period of India, a time of flourishing kingdoms and grand empires. First, we encounter the Chola dynasty, a southern powerhouse that stretched its influence far beyond India's borders. Their reign was marked by remarkable naval prowess, enabling them to establish control in Southeast Asia. The Cholas were also famed patrons of art and architecture. One of their most stunning creations is the Brihadiswarar Temple, a testament to their architectural genius and devotion to the divine. Next, we venture into the heartlands of the Rajput kingdoms. Famed for their valor and chivalry, the Rajputs were an amalgamation of clans known for their warrior spirit. Their architectural marvels include the grand forts and palaces that dot the landscape of Rajasthan each narrating a tale of bravery and resilience. Then, we traverse to the north, into the realm of the mighty Mughals. Synonymous with opulence and grandeur, the Mughal Empire left an indelible imprint on India's cultural and architectural canvas. Think about the Taj Mahal, an epitome of love crafted in white marble, or the sprawling red fort, both of which stand as enduring symbols of Mughal architectural brilliance. Lastly, we explore the Vijayanagara Empire, nestled in the Deccan Plateau. This kingdom was a beacon of Hindu traditions amidst turbulent times. The ruins of Hampi, once the empire's capital, reveal the grandeur of Vijayanagara, with its impressive temples, markets and royal enclosures. These kingdoms, each unique in its own way, left indelible marks on the pages of Indian history. Their stories, etched in stone and ink, continue to inspire and intrigue us, reminding us of a time when kings and queens, warriors and artists, shaped the destiny of this vast and vibrant land. Beyond the battles and palaces, medieval India was a hub of vibrant culture and thriving trade, a land of diversity and dynamism. It was a treasure trove of cultural wealth 
and economic prosperity filled with the hustle and bustle of merchants, craftsmen and artists. Trade, both domestic and international, flourished during this era. The Silk Route, an ancient network of trade paths, connected India with the far reaches of Asia and Europe. Indian spices, textiles and precious stones were in high demand and in return, India received gold, silver and a myriad of goods from abroad. This exchange didn't merely involve commodities, it was a two-way street of cultural exchange, fostering a rich and diverse society. Art and culture evolved alongside this bustling trade. Poetry, literature and drama thrived and architectural marvels were erected, reflecting the aesthetic sensibilities of the era. The grandeur of the temples, the intricacy of the sculptures and the vibrancy of the paintings stand as testaments to the artistic prowess of the time. Religion, too, played a significant role in shaping society. Hinduism, Buddhism, Jainism and later Islam left their indelible marks on the cultural canvas of India. Each faith contributed to the cultural mosaic, influencing everything from art and architecture to social norms and traditions. While we marvel at the cultural and commercial advancements, let's not forget the strides made in science and technology. Indian scholars of the period made significant contributions to mathematics, astronomy, medicine and metallurgy. Their works, etched in palm leaves and parchments, are still referred to today, underscoring the timeless relevance of their discoveries. The vibrant tapestry of medieval Indian society was woven with threads of culture, commerce and creativity. This was an era that saw the confluence of diverse elements, binding them into a unique blend that continues to influence the Indian subcontinent even today. The echoes of the medieval period resonate even today in modern India. As we journey through the annals of history, we find that the medieval era has left an indelible mark on the cultural, architectural and literary landscape of India. Medieval architecture in particular has etched its grandeur in the psyche of the nation. The intricate carvings of temples, the towering minarets of mosques and the robust fortresses stand as testaments to the architectural prowess of the time. These structures, built with a fusion of Hindu, Islamic and Persian influences, continue to be marveled upon and studied for their unique aesthetics and construction methods. Literature from medieval India also continues to shape the country's intellectual discourse. The works of poets, philosophers and scholars like Kalidasa, Amir Khusrau and Kabir have not only enriched the literary landscape but also provided insights into the social fabric of the era. Their verses, still recited and enjoyed, carry timeless wisdom and a deep understanding of human nature. Yet the legacy of medieval India extends beyond the tangible. The period was marked by a vibrant exchange of ideas, religions and philosophies. It was a time of synthesis where diverse cultures coalesced to form a unique Indian identity. This spirit of tolerance and inclusivity born in the medieval period remains a cornerstone of Indian society today. Furthermore, the medieval era offers us valuable lessons. It reminds us that a society thrives when it encourages diversity and dialogue. It teaches us the importance of unity in the face of external threats. It underscores the significance of sustainable practices in agriculture and trade. These lessons glean from our past, continue to guide us in navigating our present and future. The medieval times, a golden chapter in Indian history, has left a lasting legacy that continues to inspire us. As we delve deeper into our past, we not only discover the roots of our culture and civilization, but also find a compass to guide our journey forward. As we journey back to the present from the medieval era, Let's reflect on the fascinating stories we've uncovered. We've delved into the mysteries of medieval India, a time shrouded in legend and lore. We've witnessed the power and splendor of its kingdoms, each with its unique tale of triumphs and trials. We've explored the thriving trade and culture, a testament 
to the rich tapestry of diversity that has always been the hallmark of this land, and we've seen the enduring legacy of this period, its influence echoing in the architecture, literature, and philosophies of modern India. From the tales of valiant warriors to the verses of mystic poets, every story we've encountered paints a vibrant picture of a time gone by. But remember, these aren't just stories of the past. They are keys to understanding our present and blueprints for shaping our future. So, keep exploring and keep learning. Remember, history is not just about the past. It's also a guide to understand the present and shape the future.